In this section, we're going to walk through a little bit of initial work with GitHub. We're going to set up first a GitHub repository that's going to house all of our code. We're then going to set up a local Git repository. We're going to connect the local Git repository on your computer to the GitHub remote that we're going to set up. And then we're going to take all of our local work and push it up to GitHub. Now, again, just like I said in the last section, I'm going to assume that you've got working knowledge of Git and GitHub here. So if you don't, well, do your best to follow along. Honestly, you do have to do a little bit of additional setup in addition to what I'm going to show you if you've never used Git before. If you're completely lost on Git, I would encourage you to still watch anyways, and you'll probably absorb just a little bit of stuff. So let's get to it. So step one is going to be to create a new GitHub repository. So I'm going to first navigate to GitHub. I'm going to make sure that I'm signed in. And then on the top right hand side, I'm going to click the little plus button and create a new repository. I then get prompted for the name of my repo. I'm going to name this docker-react. So feel free to name the repository whatever you want. Just keep in mind that if you use a different name, you're going to have to change a couple of different commands that we're going to run. After you put in the repository name, do be sure to mark the repository as public. A ton of stuff that we're going to do is not going to work the way you expect it to work if you set it up as private. Now, on your own personal projects, if you eventually want to use a private repository, that is totally fine. You're still going to be able to use the same flow that I'm going to show you. You're just going to have to add in some credentials at some key steps along the way. But for this first go through, definitely stick with public. After verifying both those settings, I'll click on create repository. And then I get prompted right here with a link to the GitHub repository that was just created. So I'm going to copy this link. And then I'm going to go back over to my command line and we're going to set up a Git repository. If you're following along with Git on your own and you kind of want to go through these steps yourselves, we're essentially going to do what it says right here, more or less. All right, so I'm going to flip back over to my terminal and I'm going to make sure that I'm inside of my front end directory. And then inside of here, I'm going to create a new Git repository by running Git init like so. I'll then add all the work that we've done so far by writing git add dot, and then I'll commit all that work with git commit dash m, and then a set of double quotes, and inside of there I'll say initial commit. And I'll close the quotes off. Okay, so that's gonna commit all of our work. Now we're gonna set up the remote, and this is what's going to tie this local git repository that we just created to the GitHub repository that we made a second ago. So I'll write out git remote add origin. So we're essentially adding a remote that is called origin. And then we're going to provide the link to that remote. And the link to that remote is the one that we just copied right here. So I'm going to paste that link in, hit enter, and we're good to go. Now the last thing to do is push all of our work up to that remote. So I'll say git push origin master. Okay, so that's going to push all of our work up. I should then be able to flip back over to GitHub on my new Docker React repo. I'll hit refresh, and then I'll see all of my work appear here. And so most notably, I really want to make sure that I've got my Docker file inside of here. All right, so that's pretty much it for GitHub setup. Now we are going to come back to GitHub at a couple of different times to kind of walk through this whole big flow that we're going to go through with pull requests and feature branches and whatnot. But for right now, we're going to start to pivot and focus on a little bit of setting up Travis CI. So quick break and I'll see you in just a minute.